Just wanted to say, please hit that subscribe button if you like our videos and like our content. We are a small channel here trying to grow and each and every subscribe that comes our way means a lot to us. And yeah, let's get into the video. The autumn wind is a pirate, blustering in from sea, with a rollicking song he sweeps along, swaggering boisterously. His face is weather-beaten, he wears a hooded sash, with a silver hat about his head, and a bristling black mustache. He growls as he storms the country, a villain big and bold. And the trees all shake and quiver and quake as he robs them of their gold. The autumn wind is a raider, pillaging just for fun. He'll knock you round and upside down and laugh when he's conquered and won. What's up, Raider Nation? Back at you again with another video. Silver and Black Attack again here. And today on the agenda, we're going to discuss the Patriots potentially moving down from number three. Kevin Patra of Around the NFL says that Elliot Wolf, the GM of the Patriots, claims that they are open for business in every round of the NFL draft coming up shortly here next week, a week from today, actually. And this is huge news for the Raiders because the Raiders are essentially, there's been reports that the Raiders are torn on you know, if they're going to trade up for a quarterback or if they're going to sit pat at 13 and take a quarterback or if they're going to go a completely different route like offensive line or cornerback. And recent reports have said that Tom Telesco and Antonio Pierce are kind of divided on that decision where Antonio Pierce really wants to trade up for Jaden Daniels. And Tom Telesco is pretty convinced that our quarterback room is going to be okay with the uh, Garner Minshew and Aiden O'Connell. And of course, Antonio Pierce and Aiden O'Connell are great buddies and um, very good friends. But we know that friendship, you know, doesn't matter. And this is the business at the end of the day. It might be interesting to see if Aiden O'Connell is going to move to the bench and the Raiders are going to trade up and take Jaden Daniels in the top three. Now, it seems like he's going to go number two to Washington. But back to the video's main topic today is that Patriots are open for business. And that's huge because if the Raiders want to move up in the top five and potentially grab a guy like Drake May or grab a guy like Penix Jr., even ahead of 13, maybe they feel like, you know, now it's been reported that he, we are the number one team scouting Michael Penix and that we're the favorites to land him now. I think the new odds just came out earlier today. But if the GM and coach cannot really agree on the quarterback position, that's going to create problems for our entire offense. Because if Aiden O'Connell is the guy right now, but Antonio Pierce feels that we'd be better off with a Michael Penix Jr. or Jaden Daniels in that position, and Tom Telesco feels that you know we can work around Aiden O'Connell and Gardner Minshew, possibly paying him $20 million now, is uh is quite a lot so it'll really be interesting to see if the raiders would move up here in the draft with new england as new england is open for business and it is possible that the patriots will trade down and the raiders will have a chance to trade up for number three if drake may goes number two to the commanders which is not likely anymore um that it's a strong possibility that number three, Jane Daniels, will still be there and the Heisman winner will be taken with the third pick by the Las Vegas Raiders. It was interesting that a couple other Raider YouTubers made the video that Gillespie and Antonio Pierce are torn on the decision because, you know, with them bringing in Gardner Minshew, you know, basically to be the backup guy to Aiden O'Connell, it really felt like, okay, two quarterbacks in the room, they're, they're done at quarterback. But now the reports are shifting towards Michael Penix is like the favorite to be drafted by the Raiders, one. And two, maybe Tom Telesco or AP doesn't have faith in Aiden O'Connell, which I'm the same way. I don't believe that Aiden O'Connell can be a Super Bowl winning quarterback or even a playoff you know, caliber quarterback who could win a playoff game. Yes, okay, everyone's going to argue with me, so drop a comment below. You can argue Aiden O'Connell's the guy all you want. But at the end of the day, do you really see – Aiden O'Connell being the guy on a Super Bowl winning team. That's what we don't know. And now coming up in the next 
few you know weeks in the next week now seven days away actually time flies seven days away we're gonna see if the Raiders decide to either stick with AOC and Gardner Minshew or be bold and make that move maybe with New England for number three or maybe into the top five elsewhere and select either Jaden Daniels or stay put at 13 and take Michael Penix in the first round if not trade up for a higher second round pick and draft Michael Penix Jr. We appreciate all the support and you know it's really helped us to grow and our channel is you know growing beyond our wildest dreams and we're really about to hit that threshold where you know we were able to pump out content more on a daily basis at a full-time rate rather than just doing this for fun you know which we're doing right now we would love to make this you know essentially part of our you know daily lives which it already is the raiders are a huge part in both our lives and if you guys hit that subscribe button it really helps us out we're really trying to get to 1k and get to 1k subscribers would be you know huge for us so yeah raider nation we appreciate all the likes, comments, subscribes, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.